That's right. Hey, what's going on everyone? And so welcome to another one of my tutorials. Uh, so this afternoon guys, uh, here, here in a little bit, I'm going to go over with y'all on how to install multiple NSP files on the Switch. I've actually got uh, a tutorial out already going over on how to install NSP files. Uh, but we're using this program called Python, and you can only install one NSP file at a time. The way I'm about to show you guys uh, is, is a lot easier, and you can install multiple NSP files. So uh, stay tuned, guys. Uh, as soon as I uh, get done watching my little guy right here, uh, I'm going to head on upstairs, and uh, we'll get started with it. How about that? Sound good? Cool, man. In the right buddy, in the right buddy. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, so this is our computer portion of our tutorial, guys. And so uh, this is not going to take very long. Uh, it's very simple to do, actually. So the the very first thing that I want to have you do, guys, is to download this archive here. So let's mosey on over to our web browser. I'm going to show you where you're going to download that. It's a media fire site, guys. Uh, it's my personal upload. It's only like 67, 68 megabytes in size. So just come here and, and download all the files here. Uh, now, earlier I had mentioned that I had done a video already going over on how to install NSP files on your Switch. Well, this is the actual video here, guys. And I'm gonna have the link under the description to this video so you, so, uh, you guys can check it out. Um, yeah, really do check it out, guys, because it is uh, informative, and it's really something to know, actually. So, yeah, go ahead and do that. And so, now we can go over here, guys, and let's extract the archive that we had downloaded to our desktop here. All right, and there's a few things in here, guys, that uh, I want to go over real quick. Now, some of these things in here, guys, you're not going to need, okay? Uh, what you are going to need is this uh, Zadig 2.4 extension here, guys. Um, you're going to need this Tegra RCM DUI if you don't already have it to boot into custom firmware on your Switch. Okay. Uh, this SD files right here, zip folder, uh, zip file, and also the aluminum foils extension here. All right, those are the ones that you're definitely going to need. Now the first thing we're gonna do guys is uh, go into this SD files zip folder here. What you wanna concentrate on is this switch folder. Go into it guys and this is the file that you're gonna need, the tenfold NRO file, okay? So what you wanna do is extract that onto your desktop or whatever, okay? And then what you wanna do is copy it over onto your SD card guys. You should have a switch folder just as I have here on your SD SD card, okay? What you wanna do is just copy and paste it right in there, just like that, all right? And you're done with that, okay? Now, for the next thing, um, we have to install some drivers, if you haven't already, guys. So, once you have Tenfold on your SD card, uh, go ahead boot into Tenfold guys, okay? Go ahead and boot into Tenfold and uh, hook your switch up to the computer, all right? So we gotta use this program right here to install a couple of drivers, well, one driver. So let's go ahead and double click that right there, get it started up. That's what it's gonna look like. Uh, so first thing you're gonna do in this program is go up here to options, go to list all devices, okay? And right here, this, this, this pull down window, guys, just scroll on down to where it says LibNX USB comms, okay? Make sure that's up there in that window, guys, okay? That's what you want. And then you can come over here, guys, and use your directional arrows, go down to where it says Lib USBK version 3070, okay? All right. Over here, guys, there should if you if you don't have any drivers installed, there shouldn't be nothing here except the word none. Okay, that's what I had on mine. It said none, and then it said install over here. So go ahead and install it, guys, and then you'll have this come up over here on this side, and you're done with this program. That's it. Okay. 
All right, so now, what do we do with this aluminum foil extension file? Well, I'm finna show you. Let's go into here. Now, I've got two partitions on my computer here. I'm going to the second partition here. Uh, what I did, I created a switch folder, guys. And on the inside of that, I created an NSP folder. And I and also put the, uh, I copied the aluminum foil extension file in the same directory as your NSP uh, folder here, okay? You don't have to put it in a folder, guys. You can actually have these two files here, um, out here somewhere on, on the root of your partition on your computer if you want. I created this folder simply to have it at the top of the list so I wouldn't have to go scrolling all the way down to find it, okay? That's the only reason for that, all right? So, that's what I did there. <clears throat> so, the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our, uh, we're gonna run our aluminum full extension file here, all right? So here it is right here. Let's move everything over here because I'm gonna have, I'll be recording my uh, switch and it's gonna be popped up over here, okay? But, right here we gotta, we gotta uh, copy a directory to where this NSP file, NSP folder is at, okay? So let's go into the NSP folder here. This should be where all your games are at. Go up here and right click on that guys and, and hit, and right, I mean, copy address as text, okay? That's what you're gonna do there. And go over here simply and hit, and right click on that guys, and then hit, whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute, yeah and hit enter okay that will pull up all the games that that are within that nsp file right there okay as you can see all right now from this point guys this is where my camera is going to come in handy okay so okay so this this is the tenfold menu right here guys so what we're going to do we're going to go into title management and then we're going to scroll down guys to where it says usb install nsp okay and then we're going to hit the a button okay now up here guys um on the computer here you can use your directional arrows guys see the see the arrow moving there you hit your space bar to actually select the game okay so we're going to select both games here all right once you've done that guys you hit enter and voila as you can see on the, uh, the switch here uh, that that list that's in that NSP folder right there the games list was actually transferred over onto the switch here so now what we can do here is uh, we hit our X button to select the game guys and then we want to use our analog stick to move down hit your X button to select whatever game you want to install okay so once you have whatever games you want to install which is on my case both games I want to hit the A button I'm gonna select the destination which is going to be the SD card and right here uh, it says ignored ignore required firmware version we're going to, we're going to yeah we're, we're going to ignore that we're going to hit yes and that should should start installing guys and there we go so once it gets done with this game it should automatically start installing the next game on the list now there we go and there's the second one right there installing Okay, that's it guys. And so now it's telling us to hit the B button here. We're gonna hit the B button. And now we can scroll down, hit the B button again. And now we can exit this, this bad boy right here. All right. 
as you can see guys I am running an Immunand and I, uh, that's another tutorial that I want to do is how to create an Immunand on the SD card I'm not actually on the SD card this is actually on my uh, my system uh, NAND right now but uh, yeah uh, whatever um, so let's, let's boot out of this and there we go that's it guys uh, there's Hunter's Legacy and uh, the boxing great suit or whatever you want to call it so it did work uh, you can actually uh, install as many games as you want as far as I know uh, I've installed four at one time and it worked it worked all right no problem whatsoever so that's it guys um, I hope this helped you out it's a lot easier than the other method that I showed you using Python guys and have it just install one game at a time uh, this is a lot easier as you can see so I'm going to end it right here guys uh, thanks for watching and uh, never stop gaming and uh, I'll see you guys on the next uh, let's play or tutorial or dog on it whatever else I get myself into how about that <laughs> y'all take it easy I'll see y'all guys later